Hello everyone, welcome to Johnny's Nasdaq YouTube channel. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to RTP into your home machine. You don't have to do any setup on your home router, home firewall, and you can bypassing certain restriction on your computer, and which can lead you to RTP to your home machine. And the solution is completely free. No cost as long as you have Cloudflare account to use. This is basic topology. I'm gonna show you your computer gonna be have Cloudflare D downloaded. From there, you are gonna be able to using RDP to connect in to your home Windows RDP server or any other applications. So now let's start it. One year ago, I already made a video to show you how to use the same method to access your home application in a secure way, which is using a zero trust Cloudflare concept. This year, I'm gonna use in RDP as an example. Again, everything in this video has been recorded in my blog post. We are gonna use in Cloudflare zero trust tunnel. Free account is enough to access our home applications, especially in this example is RDP server. It's a simple and easy thing to do. The most important is secure since we have zero trust concept integrated into this solution. The only thing need for this lab is to get a free Cloudflare account. You may also want to get eu.org free domain. There's a many free domain you can apply from different websites. I strongly suggest to get eu.org, which I've been using for many years now. As you can see here, I got 51sec.eu.org list free domain integrated with Cloudflare. If you do need to know how to do that, check out my videos here. I will show you how to get eu.org free domain and how to add in to Cloudflare. For us, we're gonna use in zero trust features in Cloudflare. It's a free, no cost at all. Free account is more than enough. It's fast, stable, the most important, it's secure. Once you have your Cloudflare account, log in. Now, five minutes, you should be able to get this VPN up and running. The first step is to get a Cloudflare D service installed in your internal network. That's the gateway connecting your internal network with Cloudflare. Cloud Data Center. So you log into your Cloudflare account, go to Zero Trust Page, Networks, Tunnels. So here we're gonna create tunnel. So basically, they will add a tunnel from your internal network to the Cloudflare Data Center. So add a tunnel. So we're gonna use in Cloudflare D. There's a WAP connector, also can be deployed, which you can use in WAP client to connect to your internal network. We are not gonna use in this method, it's in the beta, it's also only for the Linux. We select Cloudflare D, let's say home, tunnel name, I just hang home, so which means we're gonna create a tunnel to go back home. So our environment is Windows, so basically we're gonna download this MSI file and run our connector as a gateway to connecting between home network and Cloudflare data center. We download it. So once we download it, we install it. It will give you a little bit uh, warning, but we trusted the source, we trusted the software. Just go ahead to install it on your Windows machine. It can be any Windows machine in your home network. I was strongly suggest the one which you will keep it running 24 by 7 hours. So you can connect in any time you want from outside of your home. Then we need to run this command. Run as administrator. That should get you to install this service. 
Now let's go back to our Cloudflare tunnel page. You will see connected. Back to tunnel. Confirm. So we have our home tunnel created. So that how easy you can get this VPN tunnel and running. Now tunnel is up and running. Uh, Tom home is healthy status. But now how I connect to the specific RTP server, my machine in the home. Um, so we have to define a host name for it, which usually the subdomain. So what we're going to do is we continue to configure this tunnel. There's a tab called public host name. We need to add to it. So basically we're telling our Cloudflare D gateway, once anybody connecting to this host name, it will go to this service with this service. So we can add a public host name. We can add RDP home one domain, of course, using 51sec.eu.org, which we get for free. So here is the interesting part. So you can see how many services Cloudflare D supported. We're going to use in RDP in here in my previous video. Here you will see I used HTTPS. Same idea, we're going to use in RDP here. So now it's a URL. Basically, it's just IP address, local host, this host name with the port. So as far as we know, we're going to use in our local host and the port is 3389. So we already choose the type RDP. You don't. So basically, you don't need to type 3389 here, and then it will automatically connect into local host. If you change the port, of course, you put the different port there. But if you didn't change the port, just put the local host as an example. I'm gonna connect into this machine. That's our local host. Basically, local host is 127.0.0.1 or this IPv6 address. So save it. Save your host name. Perfect. Now let's give it a try. I'm gonna use a Windows sandbox to demonstrate the like client to connect into your home RDP server. This machine can be any client outside of your home, behind firewall, to like connect to internet, Starbucks, anywhere as long as you have internet access. What you need to do is download the Cloudflare D client. Once you download that, you don't have to install. So there's lots of limitations maybe on your machine. You may not able to install any services. So, but just Google Cloudflare D download. They were telling you go to the GitHub to download it. Windows machine. If you want to install it, you need to get Winget, but we don't have to install it. Just download 64 bit based on your OS version. Mostly will be 64 bit. It's um, 61 megabytes file. Open it here. Type CMD. It will open a command line terminal for you to enter a command. Basically, you just need to run the command to forward your RDP request from local to remote. So here is the command line, how it looks like. We're going to run cloudflare.d.exe file and access RDP. Now we need to put our domain here, which we set up RDP home one dot. 51sec.eu.org dash dash UIL then so here we are using 3390 local port 3390 and then 
The cloud field D will gonna forward it to remote RDP home run. So let's do that. As you can see, it support web socket and it's listening that any access localhost 3390. So from there, we can gonna go to run and we're gonna type mstsc which is rdp client built-in in your windows we're gonna access local host 333390 access that connect to it the right way it prompt you to log in so that's how easy you can access to your home network from the outside so i'm not going to demonstrate how you log in to the server right now but the latter way you may question about it does that how easy you expose your home network to the internet is it safe right now we didn't put the zero trust concept behind it so that's what we're going to do we're going to make it more secure for you to log in not only directly you can use cloudfare d this client and then forwarding your rdp request to your home server we will also make it secure so we're gonna be get the authentication one time token we can make sure you have right person with right authentication method to access your assigned service So we created our public host name. We are able to connect to it. And now we're gonna add certain security rules in. You will go back to your Cloudflare dashboard, go to zero trust, and there's access application. So we're gonna add an application here. So basically, select self-hosted since the server is self-hosted. We're gonna add an application configuration. RTP home one, so that's the one we created. The subdomain is RTP home one, so we based on this subdomain, we're gonna enforce security policy. So RTP home one, 51 sector, you the all gave a warning, it should be there since we were able to access to it. Scroll down, next. We're gonna put the one time password. Something like that. So we're gonna allow same as application session timeout. We're gonna configure lure. So basically, you have quite a few different selectors to apply. We're gonna put the emails in, which I'm gonna put my email. So whenever there's a request to this subdomain, RDP home one dot sec dot you dot org, then they will asking you to get the code one time code one time password to log in next no changes here let me just add the application so for the application part this is providing your access using the defined authentication method so we define that one thing you may want to check is the dns record just want to make sure you have dns record in place so we have RDP home one. So the DNS record is here. So as you can see, basically when you create your public host name, you will create this same name record for you automatically. Now let's try it. Let's check back into our sandbox again. So we connect into RDP home one this URL and the local host 3390 port and the remote desktop connection MSTSC connect to it right away you should see this uh, browser window should have opened the foreign URL blah 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 and then basically they open the authentication page for you to enter the predefined email address Okay, we're gonna get the code and then we're gonna enter into the code. Here's the email. The code is 
you can copy paste in sign in now you get the list approval page success once you approve it right away here you will get the username password prompt to ask you to log in that's basically the machine we running behind it as long as you enter in correct password you should be able to rdb in there here is what i'm gonna show you in this video how to rdb into your home network from outside of your home i hope you enjoyed it if you like it give me some up also please subscribe my channel if you haven't that will give me great support see you in my next video Thank you.